After prolonged usage, the digital mixer you fade, you will notice that many of your steps are performed with almost the same time as you used to control the mouse and keyboard. It slightly helps improve your productivity, but not so much. You approached the same results so very differently. I was trying to do things as much as possible through it. As a result, I've got back to an old habits and use the UF8 as an additional controller time to time. You ask me, is it worth it? So this is 5 ticks how to improve your productivity with the UF8 in Cubase or Nuendo. Managing multiple groups of tracks. Let's take my old project. As you can see, quite a lot of tracks can complicate the management. Of course, we can separate it by instrumental groups, use track visibility configuration. But what if one of our track lists is endless? I mean, amount of tracks so huge that you should search particular track for a while, switching page by page. And what if you are searching track blindly? It would take much longer than just don't use this method. So, the issue that we need to choose particular tracks right now without extra movements. My task is to show only these three tracks on Mixer console. But before, we should activate one specific and very convenient option. It names Track Selection Follows Event Selection. Here you are. Now, when we choose the several event blocks, it activates the track selection. We will jump rapidly between bunch of event blocks. It remains only to open Mixer console and hit certain hotkey. Voila! This method of showing tracks I use all the time, especially when I'm in a process of mixing hybrid orchestra. The hotkey that I've just pushed we can find in upper side of visualization menu. It names show only selected channels. One more important option which forces itself upon you to bring all it back. It names undo visibility change. For instance, we need to switch between two groups of brass and percussion sections. We will choose these sections one by one. Then we can rapidly switch between these sections using only hotkeys. Undo visibility change and read a visibility change. Very useful and important function. I highly recommend to assign that hotkeys. I've assigned left and right buttons in the bottom right corner for visualization manage. The left button is undo the right button is redo and obviously the circle button shows selected tracks on micro adjustments the next issue we are constantly faced is micro adjustments especially if we have a small amount of values on a knob for example common problem when we need to change ratio in the UAD 1176 I spent some time to investigate how to solve it and so I use third-party solution I developed a software that replaced real messages by faking messages. Let's see how it works now. Shift button have been assigned to slow down knobs turning frequency. Therefore, it makes mixing process much more easier and faster. The plugin management. Current realization of plugin management is not convenient as well. In order to manage, we should make extra movement sequences. Plugin choice, page switching, micro adjustments, plugin bypass, and so on. Sometimes it is easier to use mouse and keyboard instead. However, the question is why do we need this functionality and how to use it so quickly? I started my investigation and faced it was old school realization of MCU protocol that prevent a modern managing fulfillment. So slow and old. I realized that only fake replacement will help me to achieve my huge plan. It took some time to understand how it works. As a result, I used my software engineering experience and I've developed couple apps responding to the current challenge. Let me introduce extended interface of plugin management. A pushing the plugin button switches our mixer into plugin mode. When I press plugin button, it jumps to the last plugin of current plugin sequence. And we immediately jump to the second page with all main controllers. Particular plugin selection. Plugin mode engages number buttons for switching to the particular plugin on the current plugin sequence. And also will display current plugin interface on my DAW. Clicking again the same button will hide plugin interface. Bypass. Plugin bypass can be activated or deactivated when you press shift with plugin number. Another very useful function is closing all plugins on your screen. Shift plus plugin button allows 
close to do it. Necessary plugin knobs so far from the first page. Some of the most frequent managing knobs should be put on the first page, especially if amount of pages is endless. I would like to move main knobs of the plugin on the first page. And we have such opportunity to reconfigurate knob positions of all our plugins. Let's take one of the most popular plugins in the world, the LA2A. As you can see, knobs in the wrong order yet. It's default configuration. Our task will be to swap knob positions. But we can do any swap here. We can do it using different ways, but the easiest way is using learning button. We should press L button here. Let's choose the first knob on the remote control window, then turn the first knob on the plugin interface. So what is left for us to do? Of course, we should repeat this operation one more time with second knob. Don't forget to hit apply button after all our steps. We save new configuration of LA2A forever. And when we open this plugin next time, we will see all knobs on the right place. Working with Sandbus. Let's select and display a few tracks on the mixer. Pressing Sand button, we jump into Sandbus's mode. For Sandbus by passing, we should switch on the second page, turn off something and go back to the previous page. So long, isn't it? And how I can improve this action? Again, I released it using my third-party developed app. When I press on this knob, it deactivates that Sand bus. It so speeded up my mixing workflow, especially mixing of virtual hybrid orchestra. work with channel strip. Current realization of channel strip the most inconvenient. For instance, if you want to choose particular compressor, you should spend a lot of time on switching knobs accurately. For jumping on compressor page, you should turn slowly and accurately the first knob. For activating the first compressor, you should turn third knob also accurately. Then, for jumping on main compressor, you should push the right paging button. Total is two button pushes and two very slow micro adjustments. Using only mouse will save your time significantly. This task I solved with third-party software again. For activating gate, it is enough just push shift plus right page and we will jump to control page automatically. Next time for opening activated gate, I will push strip button only. Let's come back to a channel strip compressor. Push number two for jumping on a compressor page. For for activation the first compressor push shift plus page and when it will be activated it is enough just push number two in the channel strip mode next time do you need to modify the gate knobs again just push number one button thus for jumping on activate module it's enough use numbers only very quickly and conveniently so the number five button is if we need to work with the tape saturator again push shift and the right page button for activating and jumping on the saturator module if you have interested in such tricks please subscribe to my channel and don't forget push the bell see you later